artist behind the Obama Hope poster draws a crowd as he shares his latest piece with the public, the Jersey City Wave. The nearly 100 foot by 50 foot mural stretches over Grove Street Path Station as a tribute to what Shepard Ferry calls the city's creative resurgence. Really, this was meant to be a celebration of where Jersey City is now while still recognizing that you're facing the back of the Statue of Liberty, you're underdogs, you do it on your own terms and you rock it anyway. Theory was brought to the city by Mayor Steve Fulop and art company Mana Contemporary. The project was primarily funded by a local development company. That kind of support is still somewhat of a change for the artist who came up through the skateboard and street art scenes. I have spent so many years worrying about getting in trouble for doing my art in public spaces that it's so nice to have the support of people who believe that art enriches public spaces. He and his team spent five days working on the mural and finished just an hour and a half before the press conference. Ferry prints out the entire mural on pieces of paper and spray glues them to the wall. He then cuts out elements, removes those pieces of paper and paints with the help of three assistants. Art is something that people benefit from. It starts conversations. It gets molecules colliding. It gets brains moving. The power an image can have is something Ferry knows well. When I made the Hope poster, I did it as a grassroots endeavor. I thought I'm a street artist who's been very critical frequently of government policy. There's no way that Obama's campaign will think that I'm anything but toxic. To his surprise, the Obama camp's reaction was quite the opposite. They asked Ferry to create more illustrations. I'm Shepard Ferry. Ferry's work has become iconic. So much so that there are multiple apps and websites for fans to create their own posters in the same style. I'm really happy that the Hope posters become a reference point and you know I have very complex feelings about Obama's president, about uh, how my, my art is sometimes reinterpreted. He says the image is sometimes reimagined in ways that are critical of the president and of Ferry himself. But it's a net positive because I think that what I did coming from very few resources and from an outsider perspective demonstrates that grassroots art can make a difference. As the event comes to a close, Ferry is crowded by autograph seekers and artists. He says he hopes his work empowers them to push themselves creatively and that it opens doors for their work to make a difference. In Jersey City, I'm Maddie Orton, NJTV News.